Hi there, most welcome uh, to my channel. It's been a while and that is because I've been uh, moving, shifting, changing, going to so many things and so my channel is changing, my art is changing, the person I am becoming is totally different than uh, we used to. So therefore, I've been guided to change my uh, channel on YouTube as well and uh, moving every platform more into the creator self. And so a few months ago, I got this word in me that said, powwow, powwow. I said, gosh, universe, what am I supposed to understand by powwow? So I did pronounce this word a few times and I felt deblocking uh, many things in my uh, own embodiment. But it had a larger meaning than uh, just deblocking it. Uh, pow means uh, like bringing your own sound into an explosion and that can only be creative. Why? Um, so, as I'm moving into guiding people more into their creative engines, I am creating new art, a flow chart with art, with pouring acrylics and um, all kinds of techniques into one piece of art, which I like to do because it's a great way to teach people how to move into their authentic energies and how to move um, into the ascent along with everything that is so powerful, which is light. Light is pure color. So here um, I will be bringing out a lot of information for uh, individual upgrades to art, uh, which is going to be very interesting, like bringing through weekly or monthly frequencies and enjoying them within promotes growth on every level. So here I um, made my first piece of art, of course, and again, People who know me, it's very colorful. Then again, what I'd love to do, here's another one. It's uh, a bit like pouring art and uh, blowing uh, some flower through it. I actually love this uh, blue, very blue um, kind of a dragon head, isn't it? <laughs> With some uh, wings on it. And that is what I would love to teach. Anybody can do that. It's a matter of uh, bringing colors together. And these frequencies will also change your frequencies. And so you'll get an easy time to flow with everything the universe is bringing through. So my first workshop is going to be um, on Sunday. And so we will learn about the integration of uh, colors and light in the body, uh, which I love so much because I've noticed that everything I did within is what came out in my art. So no control uh, whatsoever, just learning about light frequencies, how to fuse colors uh, together and uh, what kind of techniques uh, can be applied and what would not be so good. So that will be fun. So here I will demonstrate a bit how I come into the creation of this beautiful giant or a bird or whatever you make of it. It is my fre frequency and so the month of uh, uh, March, April um, is going to be so powerful. That is pow how the true power of self coming through art. Please join me uh, if you want. 
uh, it's gonna be fun working with paint on canvas and getting your energy on board right that is what it comes down to so i'm changing my name into pow how arts uh, which makes a lot more sense so um and which i enjoy a lot more also because the techniques i learned i learned from the universe from self to self from spoke to spunk and so it's very important i think uh to teach self with what we like and art is a great way to do that so here i'll demonstrate a little bit what i'm going to do enjoy okay then pow how let's get started so here i just use uh, acrylic paint mix it with some water and just get the colors i feel hungry for really really hungry so what do i have here i have white from amsterdam i have a fluorescent orange i have purple blue and um, some deep turquoise along with a little bit of green and um, well let's start and get these things mixed right okay we start off with uh, some white and have a good coat on this uh, painting so um, just start pouring 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 uh you know as an artist i just i need to feel pain so that is what i do i don't blow it through i just you know spread it and have some fun with it it will settle anyways so that is great uh to have some fun and to feel pain i need to feel pain you know it needs to be in my hands i need to feel it i need to know it and uh, so okay this looks nice it's a big coat i love big coats so i'll make sure it covers everything and uh, well at this stage i would have my hands washed a little so i can really play around with um, the other colors okay so here the white i do torch it a little bit just to get the cells popping up just a little bit a kitchen torch will do for that work and then uh, um, i go into my feeling world so here um, um i will start off with some deep purple i just love purple it's a very high color in this uh, incoming age so i start pouring and just as i feel as i feel i said and uh, then I take a little bit of turquoise. There's a turquoise that mixes a bit. Then I'm gonna find a different way with orange. I don't know why I'm pouring this way anyways um i need a very light green here as i'm designing something and i don't want to green everywhere i top it off with white a bit of white and um at this stage i will just take a straw and start blowing a bit it 
take some focus in uh, what you are willing to achieve, of course, and you can see the cells popping up already. I'm turning around and I just focus on that, okay? Not the orange. Let's create a bit of water flow. Yeah, make sure you have some kitchen paper or something with you all the time. <laughs> so, at this stage, ah, uh, yaka, I use copper powder. I don't like to uh, mix like golden or copper paint or anything with water or any other uh, liquid. I just apply it instantly because they give such a beautiful effect and as we are living I know perfectly well uh, as we are living the golden age so a lot of gold is popping up in artworks uh, worldwide I have noticed somehow so be careful if you apply this technique because you need to be willing to play around and test it. So the reason why I don't use a uh, blower or a hair dryer is because I want to go very refined <clears throat> and I uh, want to blow it my way, so to speak. <laughs> and also I enjoy it that way. You see the cells poppy poppy my... like you can really direct the the gold flow right
At this stage, um, I'm going to use my torch uh, because when it starts drying, like the acrylic pour doesn't dry that quickly. Nevertheless, I do this in a way that uh, I will reapply the torch many times and so it starts to burn uh, the artwork into the canvas, so to speak. So you see it's really pretty. You see it burning? I just love it. I just love it. I don't want cells everywhere, so... Um, um, Let's see where I get. And uh, also, you know, I don't want many parts just to touch each other. So I use a, a needle or a pin and uh, spread the elixir more evenly. I I just love the work that flows that way. And it's more, yeah, whatever you love and like is excellent. So here I have the opportunity to put some white. It's like the eye within an elephant and I love a very tiny drop, just a drop, too much doesn't matter what you can do is use a stamp and just you know and uh, it looks pretty and uh, just start blowing again right Okay. So at this stage you can go on and on and on. So uh, let's say I I don't like this. It's too much the orange here. So I just eliminate and uh, get some white on it. Okay. It's like an elephant having joy, <laughs> enjoying himself. That is pow how. So here you have an idea. I'll show you the finished work. So all I do is just blow, blow, blow different directions until I'm satisfied. I hear, I want more white. So I just blow and um, I use the needle to spread a little bit should you fancy that all right enjoy and uh, I'm gonna play the music big way because that is what I need and then I'll show you what pops up okay thank you so here we're back and so the artwork dried out and I've been adding a lot more dark purple almost black purple and the name for that would be the eyelid ray because that is because i work so much with the elements and the elements come through the very dark purple way and uh, start to co-create with you also uh, i worked on it for a few more hours in order uh, to get the very tiny cells settled. I love very tiny cells, as I'm very much connected to uh, the biology of uh, Earth and my own biology. 
and uh, so here is the end production and you can see the gold or the copper in very fine lines a bit everywhere and the very small cells you see uh, I like that it's more like uh, working direct with many species in the universe and so I created some light here in the middle of the heart of this uh, species um, to show you the reconnection we are making uh, universally cosmologically speaking and that comes through the high heart the thymus gland so that is represented very deeply right here it comes through the green way the turquoise way uh, white of course with its many shades or let's say the invisible way and the cream ivory um elixirs i would say because they are behind the scenes of every color so essentially i hope you like it uh i like the refinery here you see also here yeah, how he puts out his eye and everything so i'm very caref careful and, and passionate when i uh, get into the detail of uh, these small pieces of art while right, pour, pouring the art and applying many techniques such as my pow how flow technique which is actually a blow technique, a combination of many blows, a combination of stamps and uh, heating the cells on canvas, like almost burning them within. So uh, this was my first video. I'll be a lot clearer in the next uh, video uh, about this art. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it somehow because um, I'm not a person like, I don't want to make art in general. It needs to have my frequency, my vibration, how I'm working. And it explains a lot um, about where I'm at in uh, my own um, upgrades, growth or ascension as we're all moving <laughs> together in this big transit age. Um, I like that term. But anyway, it's a series coming through is the Pow How Flow, uh, which I created. So for those who do not know me, I'm uh, living in Belgium. I'm Dutch speaking. And uh, so I'm pulling out um, my first workshops in uh, this Pow How Flow art and teaching people how to play and create with color which is pure light getting into the consciousness of light uh, through color and so they can uh, turn out very very surprising because what i will do in the workshop is uh, align people to a uh, primary chart like this is my baby right <laughs> uh, of uh, creational colors or ways of creation so light and especially as i've seen in uh, those uh, three artworks i've been making about it's all about the higher ways and the creator cell so all we will do is open your spinal column uh, into getting the higher levels of creation done on the ground floor and your specialized skills into that and that is termed um, the creator self that operates from the Edonic gateway the garden of Eden or the sacral center that finally needs to be reset turned over into what light consciousness is and thus there is no greater fun in opening your creative skills and uh, operating with the Adonic Gateway, the Garden of Eden, and your specialties than uh, while well, pouring just paint through. So I'll be assisting and, uh, you know, promoting new techniques. Anyway, it's uh, supposed to be a day of big fun. 
uh, available uh, for everybody and um, especially what you will learn is how to work with color which is very important you need to feel it and then you can code that into your body that is how i do it um true alignment uh to to the galaxies to alignment to your the new solar system and uh, because lighter the earth plane is part of all that and so that is reason why so many beautiful things are popping up in uh, the domains of art so i would say enjoy command subscribe uh, like it uh, whatever i love communicating because communicating is color communicate the colors that you are and um, you know i just love the refinery up here uh, and also i finish up with a spray coat a spray so i i use acrylic spray at the end just you know to have this uh, a fine cover up here which is not needed actually and sometimes i just uh, leave them as they are i don't like them to be too glossy or anything so sometimes i put just one tiny layer of uh, gloss over it uh, varnish uh, but it's not needed so um, I only do this before they get sold so and I asked the buyer if they wanted plain or with a glossy layer uh, okay uh, enjoy it so uh, my artistic name is uh, preview uh, that came into creation because uh, I bring through uh the new sceneries on earth and how the transit is coming through so i have a view of 10 years uh, ahead and there's a name preview arts and uh my new technique here is the powhow flow technique <laughs> which i enjoy a lot because there's so much you can do with you can add and abstract add and subtract um there is no end to it and then burn your pain in it or just create little or small or um i mean bigger cells uh whatever you fancy is your art actually and understanding that particular code is going to be important so spirit gave me a code for the, these three paintings i've been showing and uh, i'll be putting them on uh, etsy where you can buy them should you have uh, interesting and otherwise uh, there's a lot more to it because with it everybody who buys one of my art pieces will get the alignment in the body and uh, that is pretty potent because it changes the energy flow in your home in your house into the powhow flow <laughs> you know uh, that strong flow of uh, consciousness through color okay goodbye for now see you soon bye bye